last case opened in me a new fear, a real fear, a fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. This had better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any. Victor? He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the local scare. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I better check out this crazy gang of yours. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy.
As I continue to translate the narcotic fragments, I become more and more eager to contact my Yithian masters. These beings truly are gods to us. Their intellect and knowledge surpasses ours in ways impossible to comprehend. I know now just how insignificant mankind is in the universe, a doomed and simple species thrown up as a side effect of an experiment by the elder things. It is a blessing that such flawed creatures as ourselves have such a short and limited future. board has been used to illustrate a diagram. I can't open it. Damn! Looks like I'm stuck. Might as well check this. That symbol's strange. Looks almost like a flaming eye. I should take a closer look. It's locked. It's locked. Watch him on the stairs. At last! <gasps> it's you. Empty ammo boxes and spent shells. Nothing useful. He seemed to recognize me. I don't get it. An old wardrobe. Poisoning by the looks of it. He's dead. They're all dead. Poison appears to have been on the menu. Suicide. Or rather, mass suicide. These nuts had some serious issues. He's dead. Nothing of interest. Nope, nothing of interest. Suicide, or rather, mass suicide. These nuts had some serious issues. Don't shoot. I'm an arm. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Walt. Damn. I recognize him. A key. This should help downstairs. He's dead. Looks like a bad case of lead poisoning. It won't budge. It's locked. It's unlocked. I don't understand. I mean, all of these photos. All of them. There must be some kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? Ah, it must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I've gotta think. fire is still burning. Another key. This should fit the door across the hall. It's unlocked. For nutcases, they seem quite literate. It appears to be a private study area. The drawer holds an ancient manual. It appears to be a private study area. There are definitely some strange sounds coming from this side of the room.
dead bodies, and plenty of them. Something dreadful has been going on down here. Good God! What the hell is all this? His beating heart. The contraption above seems to be controlling his breathing. Looks like his stomach. Looks like his brain. I wonder what those wires are for. This pipe must drain the waste from his intestines. Looks like his kidneys. They're moving around in all that liquid. Nothing of interest here. I've never seen equipment like this before. Touching it again. Uh, at least he's out of his misery. This tunnel feels like it's gonna collapse at any moment. Ah! It's too hot to pick up! Looks like something's been removed from it. There's no power. It's too hot to touch. I think it's being used as a power source for the machine. must have overloaded. He's dead. The crystal's still warm. It's a similar shape to the slot upstairs. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it, probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum, 
where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Uh, did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Uh, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Ryan Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I eh, never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Driver, how far did we stop? It's almost there. I'll drop you at the town square in Innsmouth. Why lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. We don't want those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after them all. It's 
Stranger, into the line. Could you direct me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, fella. Chit-chat to him's gonna get me no place fast. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. We're in the wrong place, asking the wrong questions, outsider. Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. Ah, uh, ropes. Alien ropes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm after directions to the First National. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. It's that fellow was just stringing me along with a lot of nothing about nothing. It's locked. It must lead to the back of a variety store. It won't open. It won't budge. Seems this grandiose structure is the esoteric order of Dagon. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't rightly say it, I know him. Evening. Uh, the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss... Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, Miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. <sighs> Very well, Mr. Walters. This doll seems more open than some folks around these parts, but she isn't going to talk to me right now. The storage depot. It's shut. That bridge spans the Minuxet River. It won't open. It won't budge. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked Just leave me be, stranger. Hello again. Mr. Walters. Look, miss. I only want a conversation. There's no harm in that, right? There's plenty of harm. It's not wise to be seen gossiping with outsiders. How about playing dumb for a few minutes? No. Can you at least tell me if you knew the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Look here, Mr. Walters. I can't answer your questions, and your harassment is putting us both in danger. Please, leave me alone. In danger? From whom? The Order. 
Now go. She isn't going to tell me anything useful right now. I'm looking for Brian Burke. Can't say I noticed what you're saying, stranger. I'm all brave, true, and an ocean of blue, and the ship that loves the blood. With a good wine piping, with a good wind piping, early in the Solens Gallons, man. Ah, my boys. These are the joys of the noble and the brave who love a life in the tempest strife and the home of the mountain wave. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out and the growling thunder sounds his gong and the whirlwinds... Huh? Who's that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name. Though it's a few years in now. Zadok Allen. Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a young'un. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. It won't open. <laughs> the old drunkard knows something. I don't think it would take much to get his tongue wagging. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Stop pestering me, stranger! First National is a large chain. You sure you haven't seen it? I'm sure. Stop bothering me with questions. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All have its cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> Talking to this fellow's getting me nowhere, and he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room, and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. 